Well, hi there, pluggers. I'm a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. Uh, this is part two of the um, Saltwater song by uh, Julian Lesson. Okay, part two. Uh, in part one, we did the um, verse and the intro parts, okay, and went through that in quite a lot of detail. Uh, and this part two is, is basically going to be the um, bridge section in the middle of the song and a little bit about the ending, okay? Because the, the version I'm actually doing this lesson on is um, from a cover band called The Fab Four, okay? Um, if you if you go on YouTube and put The Fab Four salt water, you'll probably find it. Um, in fact, I might put a, a link in the description box for it, okay? Um, it's the version that I, I was requested to, to do a lesson on, okay? so. It's, uh, it's basically the same as the original, but uh, played on guitars rather than keyboards, okay? Um, right, so, um, without more ado, uh, we're just going to go from the end of the second verse, okay? Where it goes... <laughs> straightforward. First uh, first line, okay, is basically comes off the E at the end of the verse, goes into the middle section, the bridge section, and it's it's basically a, a B with A in the bass, okay. So basically it's an A shape up two frets, okay, so you're fretting the fourth fret of the fourth string, third string and second string, and the fifth string is open. Open fifth string, open first string, and that's that's the chord. Okay, and it goes from that to an all A chord, and then back to the uh, B with A in the bass, and back to the A. Okay, and there's two beats on each sort of uh, chord. Okay, so it's I have lived for the one, two, da 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 da. It's fairly straightforward that bit. Then we go to a C sharp minor seventh, uh, which is basically a fourth uh, fret bar chord, C sharp minor. Take your pinky off, you've got the C sharp minor seventh. Okay, it should sound like that. Okay, that's so it's um, I have lived for love, but now that's not enough, for the world is love is. Now, when you get to dying, it's a C sharp minor sixth. Okay. Now you probably haven't played this one before, but um, it's basically the uh, easiest way I can show it to you uh, in this particular song is to bar the second fret, uh, first four strings with your first finger, four strings one two three four, barred at the second fret. Then put your second finger on the third fret of the third string, okay, that one, and finally pinky goes on the fourth fret of the first string, okay, so you've got that shape, okay, and it should sound, you play strings four, three, two, one, it should sound like this, okay, if you're not, check your fingering, okay, uh, and that comes after the C sharp minor seventh. So this is C sharp minor sixth. Okay. So it goes. <clears throat> I have lived for love, but now that's not enough. For the world of love is dying. Okay. And now it goes. And now, and on now, it's F sharp minor seven. Just leave the bar where it is from the C sharp minor sixth, and just add your third finger to the fourth fret of the fifth string. That's F sharp minor seventh. And just play the strings five down to one. Okay? So so far as I am here for love and now that's not enough for the world that is is dying and now I'm crying is C sharp minor that's with, with all the fingers. And then take that thing for pinky off and make it a C sharp minor seventh. Okay, so 
so it's cry in. That's right. And now I'm cry in. Okay, got that. So from the beginning of the year, so it comes out of that. To the uh, B with the A in the bass, and time is not a friend. Now this time we play a proper B. Okay, so I, what I tend to do is play the um, barring of the fourth, uh, third, and second strings on the fourth fret with my third finger, and just add my uh, bar across the second fret, or just just the second fret of the fifth string is important but you can just add the full bar if you like but basically you, what you need is the fifth string down to the second string okay so for, um, after it comes out of the C sharp minor to C sharp minor seventh crying crying back to the B with A in the bass and time is not back to A this time put the B in as friends are out of time. Now that one is just basically a bar on right across the um, second fret from the fifth string down to the first string. Okay, okay, and that's basically a, um, it's like a, that's A with B in the bass. Okay, it's the other way round because it's an A, it's an a chord but you've got the second fret of the fifth string covered, okay, so A would be in the uh, A would be in the bass, okay, so um, A over B, okay, okay, so we come out, so let's do the whole thing again then, so from the beginning, I have the love, and now that's not enough, for the world which will be dying, and now After we've done the B, so the first, when you come out of the crying, crying, and it goes into the uh, B with it over A, time is not to A, then, then the proper B, the friends were out of, then the uh, A would be in the bass, time, and it's C sharp minus seventh again, slow, B, D, A, pass, E major, A. G diminished time by rather it's passing by so G diminished so we know the C sharp minor seventh don't we slow B L A pass E major in uh, by is G diminished okay which is basically um, second on the fourth second on the second so it's first finger on the second of the fourth, second finger on second on the second, uh, third finger is going third on the third, and pinky is going on third on the first. And you're only really interested in those four notes, okay, those four strings. Okay, so it uh, comes out of that second time round, it goes, uh, and time is not a friend, as friends are out of time, and it's slowly probably around about fret five on the sixth string into the first chord of the next verse yeah okay so 
involving the girl's gum son and all that sort of thing. Okay, so um, that's it really. Uh, so we'll go through it. That's the whole middle section. Okay, so we'll just go through that really slowly again. Okay, um, so um, comes out of the first, second verse. Okay, so it goes. Uh, it's To love. Now that's not enough. The world just she's dying is now I'm quiet. Time is not a friend. As friends are out of time, and it's slowly passing by. Right before our eyes. Okay. We like the deepest oceans and all that sort of thing. Okay, to the next verse. Okay, so once again, do it really. I'll try and slow it down a bit for you this time. Okay, so. I did say the last call was F sharp minor 7, but tonight it goes right, be uh, right before our eyes, at the very last line where it goes um, slowly passing by. Right before our eyes slide. We like the deepest oceans. Da -da 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 -da. So on, okay? Now then. Just as a, an int uh, a bit of interest, um, when you get to that G diminished, uh, if you listen to the original version by Julian Lennon, not the cover version, um, uh, there's a bit of harmony singing goes on where they go uh, up and down, uh, which you can approximate if you want to play a bit like on the original Julian Lennon version, instead of just playing that G diminished, where it goes... Um, uh, you can go um, something like this. Um, where it comes to the last line, where it goes slowly passing by. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, just another way of playing that ending uh, of that line. So instead of just playing the um, uh, where it goes, and it's slowly passing by. You can go slowly passing by. Okay, and all that is basically, it's the same chord but played in different positions. Okay, so instead of starting there, you start on the fifth and sixth fret. So you go. Um, so that one first, so it's 5th and 6th fret, same shape, down to the one that we started with, the G diminished, and then up to the 8th and 9th fret, and back to the 5th and 6th, okay, and then to the F sharp minor 7th, so it's... So it's Da, 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 right, so that's that done. That's two little options there for you. Now, the very ending of the song on this cover version is quite nice. Um, they come out of the um, the last verse where it goes. Um, so, okay. It's 
that you can do all sorts of things with it, but basically it's the same chords. But I do that, so it's another way of doing it. Or you can just go. Okay, so basically it, it repeats the last line basically. So it comes out of the um, so. And then it adds this little bit, and all that is is you just hammer up from the on the E chord, where your finger is on the um, first fret of the third string. You just hammer up to the second string with pinky, second fret of third string, hammer up from the first, and hit the second string open, and then play the C chord, the D seven. Last time, do that about two or three times. On last time, something like that, okay? Or you can just do C to D rather than D seventh, and then E. Whichever way you want to do it, but the way I tend, I would think it's quite nice is if you just play about the A shape on the fifth fret. So you bar your, your finger in the fifth fret of uh, the fourth, third, and second strings, and play the open fifth string with it. Okay. Then move it up to seven. Same again. Open fifth string. And then when you get to the ninth fret, so it's five, seven, nine. Hit the bottom E string, and then strum from four down to one. Don't hit this, the fifth string, okay? So you go. So you, so you come out of that. Um, Or you can just do um, whichever. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you'll find that lesson uh, useful and helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.